वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश ट्वेल्व सो स्टेटमेंट इज द जॉयस्ट ऑफ ए फ्लोर इन अ वेयर हाउस आर टू बी सिलेक्टेड यूजिंग स्क्वेयर टिम्बर बीम मेड अब ऑफ ओक ईच बीम इज टू बी डिजाइन टू कैरी नाइन्टी पाउंड पर फीट ओवर ए सिम्पली सपोर्टेड स्पेन ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव फीट डिटरमाइन द डायमेंशन ए ऑफ इट्स स्क्वेयर क्रॉस सेक्शन टू द नियरेस्ट वन और फोर इंच द अलाउेबल बैंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव के एस आई एंड अलाउेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज वन ट्वेंटी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द जॉइस्ट नाउ फ्लोर जॉइस्ट और हॉरिजेंटल मेम्बर्स दैट स्पेन ओवर स्पेस ओपन स्पेस बिटवीन द बीम्स एंड देर ट्रांसफर द वर्टिकल लोड्स क्लियर सो दिस इज द जॉइस्ट ऑफ ए फ्लोर दैट इज सेलेक्टेड a square in cross section and made up of wood that is oak clear and the loading is uh, distributed load over a span of 25 feet is given so you have to find this direction of uh, dimension of this rectangular cross section uh, dimensions okay so all the data have been already mentioned so let's start with the solution so if i draw the free body diagram of this beam so let this is the beam where you have if you have uh, removed the support at this end so definitely you will be having a reaction force let this is your point a and this is your point b so it will be r a and it will be r b and there is a uniformly distributed load i represent it by using dotted line and that is 90 pounds per feet and total length of the beam is 25 feet so what if i convert this uniformly distributed load into point load so i will multiply this 90 with total length 25 and it will be 22 Five zero. Now, if you solve it by using moment of equation, I will directly write it. You can see the total load is two two five zero, and the beam is symmetrical about the center. So R A will be equal to R B is equal to two two five zero divided by two, and that will be equal to one one two five pounds. You can apply your equation of equilibriums, and you will also get the same result. Now you have this R A and R B, so with the help of this, I will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So let's start it. I will draw the vertical lines over here, and we will draw first the shear force diagram. So here we have shear force that will be in pounds. Clear. Now at point R A, you can see that you have a load of eleven hundred twenty-five feet. So let each division is five hundred pounds. So five hundred. This is thousand. This is fifteen hundred. So eleven hundred will be somewhere here. So this is your first point, and at last you can see that there is a distributed load over this. so this load is 2250 so 1100 1125 sorry 1125 minus 2250 will again give you minus 1125 at the end so again here you will have 500 minus 1000 so it will be here so you can easily join these two points by using a straight line so this will be your shear force diagram again you can see that at mid the shear force will be zero now you are able to understand this okay so this is your shear force this point is 1125 and this is minus 1125 now we will draw the bending moment diagram so bending moment diagram will be pounds into feet so first area is this one you can see this is 1125 into perpendic uh, in half of the beam is 1 over uh, 12.5 divided by 2 
the area of this triangle is this one and this will give you 7031.25 7031.25 at mid so we will plot it so now at first point we will have zero movement at this at length of 12.5 feet clear so this is 7000 so let this is 2000 this is 4000 this is 6000 there will be 7000 will be here so we will take our point approximately to this again the shear force is a uh, uh, first degree line and slope is decreasing but the value of this area is positive so movement will be the second degree li uh, line and uh, it will be in counterclockwise direction so this point is 7031.25 pounds into feet and this curve will be like this again you can see this area is the same but that is in negative direction so it will be minus 703125 so plus this minus this will bring it to zero at this point so again we will get the curve like this there will be a smooth curve like this we will draw it again it will be like this now this is your bending moment diagram so we will use this uh, shear force and bending moment diagram as we are given bending stress so we know that we have allowable bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i since this is a square clear with a dimension a and this is also a so we know that c will be equal to this is your c and that will be equal to a over 2 and i for this will be equal to 1 over 12 b is a h is also a so a cube so it will be 1 over 12 a 4 now you have allowable stress which is given as 4.5 ksi so 4.5 into 10 to power 3 i will show you this is 4.5 into 10 to power 3 maximum bending moment you can get it from the bending moment diagram that is 7031.25 pounds into feet so we will convert it to into inch multiply by c c is a by 4 a by 2 divide by i is 1 over 12 a 4 so when you solve this at the end you will get a is equal to 4.827 inch or you can approximately take it 5 inch because it will be much safer and we will get approximate value now we have the dimension we have calculated that you will use a timber beam that is made up of oak having length is uh, width is 5 inch and height is also 5 inch as joist of a floor clear so this height will be also A 5 inch height this height will be also a 5 inch now how we will verify that whether this value is correct or not so for that we will um, go towards shear stress so we know that shear stress allowable sharing stress is equal to v max into q max divided by i into t so shear force maximum we can get it from the shear force diagram this is 11 point 11.25 so 11.25 pounds q max what will be the q max so for that if i draw the square section 
layer so this will be the center and this distance will be equal to 5 divided by 2 which is 2.5 inch and total height is 5 inch so for this portion what will be the q max so if we take the half so this will be equal to uh, this distance will be equal to 1.25 so we know that this width is also 5 inch so we know that q max is equal to a into y bar and this is equal to y bar so area is 5 multiplied by uh, 5 multiplied by 2.5 inch because this is width and this is height is 2.5 inch into y bar is 1.25 so you will get q max is equal to 15.625 cubic inch i is equal to 1 over 12 a4 so you can put the value 1 over 12 a is 5 so pi 5 power 4 will give you 52.083 inch power 4. V is also there, Q is also, Q max is also there, I is this and th thickness is 5 inch. T is equal to 5 inch. So you can put it in the formula so you will get T allowable is equal to V max 1125. Q max is 15.625 divided by I is 52.083 and thickness is 5. And from this you will get 67.5 PSI. So this is your uh, maximum stress. Actually this is the maximum stress. Toy allowable is given. So correct it. This is maximum stress now you can see your maximum stress is less than tau allowable and the tau allowable was 125 psi so 67.5 is less than 125 psi let me show you you can see 125 psi so it means that this timber beam of square in cross section of width 5 inch and height 5 inch is can be used for this joist of a floor that carries a 90 pound per feet load over a span of 25 feet i hope you have enjoyed this video and you are learning as well those who are new to my channel i will request them to subscribe it and share it among your uh, community so that maximum people can learn also if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching